So spaghetti is on the menu tonight and we are also making homemade Dutch oven bread and it smells so good in this house. I have the water boiling, salt and water boiling for the noodles and it's gonna be a ground turkey spaghetti which we always eat and I have salt, pepper, basil, um, oregano, crushed red pepper, parsley, and onions and garlic. So, yes, we're about to make a quick dinner along with the bread that has taken me all day to make. <laughs> um, so, stay tuned for this video. Okay, y'all, we're gonna chop this onion for spaghetti. half of the onion over here <laughs> so I still want to use these I don't like when it rocks so we're just gonna rough chop these again it's just going in spaghetti we can rough chop it doesn't have to be perfect it does not have to be perfect I hope everyone's having an okay day today. It's getting crazy out there. Hope y'all are staying safe and washing your hands and isolating if you need to isolate. Watching movies or whatever it is to keep you busy. Whatever it is. Just don't forget to laugh today. Find something to laugh at. Something. We got our onions chopped up and no perfect way. And I'm gonna cut some uh, garlic up. This traditional pasta sauce has a lot of good flavoring, but I always do garlic and um, onion, always, no matter what. Let's see. And I like to make pasta dishes so they'll last for the kids and they can have it for um, lunch or dinner tomorrow for leftovers the other pasta dish lasted two days so that was good i didn't think it was gonna last but it did y'all the pollen in georgia is already so bad and my allergies oh my goodness we go out and walk at least once a day and oh we were uh, throwing the frisbee and it is there my car is covered in pollen like already I do not like this season, this pollen season. Um, I hope my bread turns out good. That took all day to make, like all day to make. So I'm just smashing it with the back side of my knife and some dropped on the ground. I'm waiting on my pasta to the water to boil so I can put the pasta in there. So you just smash it up, chop it up. Okay, what you doing over there? In some water. My chop. <laughs> Just chop, 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 chop. Now we wait. Okay, so to the garlic and the onion, I also will add dried basil, some crushed red pepper, and some oregano for my little Italian seasoning. Of course, this already has seasoning, um, but this is just some that I add. And of course, salt and pepper, always. Um, and my tried and true parsley flakes. <laughs> I love these. All right, we're gonna add our spaghetti noodles. Spaghetti noodles. And this is a big pot, so I don't even have to break it this time. Usually I break it, but I don't need to. It's a big old pot. Move them around so they don't stick together. But yeah, this 
brand is at Kroger now, and it's so, so affordable. Definitely look into them. It says low-fat, sodium-free, good source of folic acid, um, Zia Italiana. But that's so, I love it. I love how affordable, and it has, like, everything to go with it. If you hear the boys there playing a video game up there, so, yeah, they're getting a little loud. But we're going to let that cook. Let it cook. Let it cook. Y'all, I have to tell y'all. <laughs> I need to tell y'all about something from that I got. Okay. Yeah, during um I just want to give y'all a heads up. So, I got these from Dollar Tree. You can get dried apricots from anywhere. They're so good, right? They're so good. But do not sit down and eat a bag of these. Google it, <laughs> and you'll find out why not to eat dried apricots. Well, well you, you can eat them, but eat like one or two, like on yogurt or something like that, or you can even eat them by themselves. But I thought, hmm, I just sat down at the couch the other day. I was like, oh, this is a healthy snack. I'll eat that, this instead of chips or something. Um... You might want to rethink that. These are good. Don't let me get, don't get me wrong. These are so good. They're addicting. You'll sit down and eat a whole bag. But I promise you, you won't want to. <laughs> Google what dried apricots do to you. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I sat and ate a whole bag and oh my goodness, I just, just, Google it. I ain't even gonna say nothing else, but just Google it. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man, it's <laughs> just just don't do it. Just take my advice and don't do it. Eat a couple. You have to space yourself with them. Alright, this is getting going. Moving to the next step. Alright, so now we're going to drain. The spaghetti noodles. My bread is almost done. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Whoo! Got one little pasta hanging out. Spaghetti is done. And I'm just gonna put the pot back over right here. Right now we're just gonna add olive oil. Start cooking our meats. Let me scooch y'all back some. Okay, we're gonna start cooking our meat. Oh, nope, we're gonna put onions in first. The first thing we're gonna do, and then we're gonna put the garlic in, and then we're gonna put the meat in. So we got our onions. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put some salt and pepper. Shake a little shake, shake a little shake. Some salt. I know y'all know how to make spaghetti. Just showing y'all what this is. Um, how I make mine. Just a quick little, just a quick little spaghetti, nothing fancy. Um, nothing fancy at all. So I got my salt and pepper in there. Get me a let's see. Let's see what I need. Just mix it up. Y'all, the bread smells so good. The bread that I made in the um, the Dutch oven. I'm so excited to see it. Oh, I'm so excited. Cannot wait. <laughs> Somebody was talking about my stern. I do like to stir. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But I gotta stir these up. These are the onions. And I'm melting some butter over here. I'm melting this for the bread that I get out. I might make some garlic butter for it. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna go ahead and add our garlic into this olive oil. Y'all hear my boys, they're playing a video game and 
Y'all know that gets serious up there. <laughs> it's so serious. All right, mix this up. Mix, 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 mix it up. Mix, mix. Oh, I love garlic and onions. Y'all know that smell is everything. Alright, we're going to add our meat in just a second once this gets a good little sear on it. Add our meat. Okay, now we're going to add our meat. Ground turkey, just a pound of it. Just a pound of it, y'all. Just a pound of it. And then we're going to add some seasonings to the meat here. Again, we got our red crushed red pepper flakes. Spice it up a little bit. Spice her on up. Then we're going to add some good old oregano. Not too much, because that kind of smells like pencil shavings. Uh, then we're going to add some good old basil. I love me some basil. Y'all understand me? I love basil. Fresh basil, dry basil. It gives it kind of, basil's like a sweet herb. So I, I like to add a good amount in there. Yep, I'm adding her on in. She barely coming out. Add some good old parsley. I use this parsley like crazy, y'all. Love some parsley. And I already added some um, salt and pepper to the onion, onions and stuff, but we'll add a little bit more. All right, salt. And we did add the crushed red pepper, but we'll, oh, that's basil. Now we'll add some more pepper. She's gonna be good one. Today's gonna be a good day, y'all. I'm excited about this food and my bread came out so good. Alrighty, the meat's almost done. Then we're gonna add our sauce. Make sure it's all done, then we're gonna add our sauce. Ooh, smells good. Y'all, my garlic butter's going good over here for the bread. My bread's resting. And this won't turn off yet. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, so I'm gonna add the sauce. Add just a little bit of water to get the rest of that out. Shake it up. Gotta use all of it in there, all the good stuff. Mostly empty there. I'm gonna let it sit like that, see if I get any more. I wish this oven would turn off. I'm gonna let this cook for a little bit. Looking so good. And that's done, we're gonna add the noodles. Okay, I just added the noodles into it and it is becoming one now. All right, just added some more seasoning. Now we're gonna mix it all up in there. All the parsley and basil. Yum. This is the finished product. Now just to see it plated up with our nice fresh bread. Okay y'all, so here is the finished plated up product. Turkey spaghetti with homemade Dutch oven bread. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone's doing okay and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you are subscribed, like, and comment. Love you guys, and thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Y'all have a good night.